know uh, some people do okay, that, but okay. I'm not sure like, what you meant to do. The, like, uh, my strategy is usually, I pick one comp that I like to play that I think is strong. So then I'm starting the starting item for this comp and I make a priority list. For example, if I'm going Z, I will go bow, BF and um, belt. That's my priority for the carousel. So that's my first, the first way I start getting my strategy going. And then I will just see how the game is evolving. So I have like this idea in mind, I will go, I want to play Z, but like if I get, for example, like an early death plate, then I might pivot to Warwick. So like I'm always open to pivot, but I have one strategy that I want to play at the start of the game. Okay. Um, yeah, if I was to choose one, I'd probably say Duelist then. But I don't know how like, strong that is in terms okay. of current method. Yeah, yeah, Duelist is like a comp that you can't really force, because you need like the chosen one for it. Okay. So I don't recommend playing Duelist without a Yasu. What would you recommend then? Uh, honestly, I would recommend going Z. I've and... tried Z a few times, but I, I don't know where I went wrong, but I just like kept failing with him. Okay. So, yeah, okay. I don't know, it can put me up. So, let's just try Z out. So okay. your carousel priority will be bow, BF, and then you're going with a belt. And okay. then the fourth one, if you can't get either, it's going to be magic resistance. Okay, cool. So you can just, just start a game. And while you're playing, um, try to explain a bit why you're doing something or, or what you're trying to do. And okay, then cool. if you're saying something like I can maybe say like it's good or don't do this or like reposition it like a bit to the left, a bit to the right, or like maybe you should scout in case there's assassins and then reconsider your positioning. So it's easier for me if you're like telling us a bit what you're trying to do. Okay. Welcome everyone to the stream. Today we're going to be coaching Dark Torches. A gold one player and his goal is going to be, what's your goal? Uh, diamond, platinum. Diamond, <laughs> okay. Is it currently streaming the champ select yet? Or is it the, on the client still? It's on the client. Okay, let me just change the window then. Isn't Dark Torches the TFT master you heard about? I haven't heard about it. Okay, so you got a belt. Yeah. Which means if you're trying to go Z, Slammy and early Zeke's would be good. And that's BF Sword and Bell, right? Yes, correct. And Zeke's works really well if you're having like three backline units that benefit from the attack speed of the Zeke's and then just two strong frontline units. And I put the Zeke's on someone else, right? I don't put it on Z. Uh, 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 no, you're putting it on an off carry. For example, Evelyn or Akali in the late game. And for now, like, if you're going with physiques, if you're getting a BF sword, um, it can be really nice to... Um, oh, I'm actually not seeing your, seeing, um, your gold. Okay, no, okay, never mind. Can, can you see everything? Okay, yeah. Um, would you buy that chosen or would you skip it? I'll skip it. Okay. Yeah, I would also I skip it. Just... You should place in the, the Garen. So he's getting a Warlord stack, in case you're going Warlords. And you can buy the Nami as well. Cool. Try to use as much of your gold as possible. Without breaking eco, right? Yes. Yeah, cool. Okay, so we got a Redemption that we don't want to slam early. Also, do I want to like use the tears on anyone I can, or...? Okay, so we got to the center to start, that's nice. And a vein pair. So, so you got backline DPS with the vein and the Lysandra, so you need more tanks. That's why I would, from the options that you have, I would buy the Maokai here. Yeah. And if you're getting gold, I would take along Lulu. That's why, because you already have Elderwood and Mage on the bench. So maybe you could get a direction with this. Should I? Okay. Um, okay, I will. Okay. Oh, I should have saved the. Locked in, right? No, no, no. We're good here. 
So now I will place the Nami as well. And then um, put the Maokai frontline. As a single unit, he's more tanky than Garen. Okay. You can and replace. I... You can replace. Yes, go like this. And then you can buy the Maokai pair as well. And you can pick up the Diana. In case we are getting a Silas, we could run. Um, oh, for the Moonlight. We could go for our early Moonlight. And so now yeah. you should take a look at your items. So the only slammable item you have is a Sunfire Cape. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. I built a Sunfire yeah. for a okay. So, you, so I would just check um, right here. You're not going to win with the Sunfire Cape, so no reason to slam it yet. Okay, how weak is he? Okay, I actually was just looking, okay, you can buy the Fiora here. So you're using the one gold you have. Okay, nice. Should so I go got, Diana? Yeah, go Diana. Replace Nami with Diana. And then you need two gold to level up. So sell the vein. Sell the vein, level up. And um, place Nami. in the Nami. And now you, you should um, also get the Kench because your level five could be Prowler Frontline. So since you're going pro, no wait, 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 with this unit. Since you're going Prawler, remove the Garen. So you're not going Vanguard Frontline, right? So you don't need the Garen. Okay. So you have to Prawler in the back. And now you have built a Sunfire Cape onto Diana. Okay, cool. Also, should I not try to buy the extra Lissandra or the extra Fiora then? No, 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 no. We're, we're not going to go um, with, um, with Lissandra or Free here or anything like this. Okay. So if you're winning, you will buy the Fiora, Fiora so it's a Fiora pair. Yeah. And if you're losing, you don't buy anything. So you can buy the Fiora pair, pick it up. And then you should sort your board correctly. So Marokai goes on to the left. Since he is the unit that you have paired. And then you can pick up, yes, like this. And then the Fiora and the Lissandra all the way to the right. Because it's the unit you, you don't want the most. So, like okay. So we got a Vigar here. That's pretty good. Okay, to pick up. I would pre-level here. So I would sell the Fiora pairs. And pre-level. So, so just level up once. Yes, just level up once. And then okay. once you're going with the next step, you will go level 5 right away. And the reason why this level 5 right away is pretty good is because you don't have a Chosen yet. So if you, oh, so you pre-level, yeah, okay. you're having higher chances of finding like a, a better tier Chosen. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Bob Ziller is asking, what are your thoughts on Moonlight Pump? I think Moonlight Pump is still pretty strong. Um, it's a bit more reliant to hit because more people are playing reroll comps and they are taking it off the tail of off the pool, so it's easier to hit than before the patch. But on the other hand, it's not like a guaranteed um, top four anymore. If you low roll, um, you will have a problem. Go ahead and buy the Wukong with the one gold you have left. And so, like, how do you choose who to buy? In, in the shop, like, like saying that you said by the Wukong, why the Wukong specifically? Uh, because there was no other one cost unit. Oh, okay. So you have one um, Pluba, one tier currently available. Yeah. So you need to think, is there something I can build out of this tier that may may fit my comp or like may be good for the early game? Uh, probably Chalice. Chalice could be good. And if Chalice is good, I would use the Vi because she's a brawler over yeah. the Teemo. And you yeah. need a brawler for the front line as well. But since we got an early Vigar, we might put, go for a Vigar game, Vigar Elderwood game as well. So, so would I be. So would I would I place, one? like for the strongest board, is um, probably go putting in the Vi as well. Yeah. Yeah, so you have I'm the brawler front line. Um, the, we're not caring about the positioning now. Okay, cool. So we need to check how we're going to make economy here. So you can sell the Lissandra. Yeah. And you can sell the Wukong. And the... And now I would trade out... Okay, no, I was just... I would have traded out the Vi for the Tam Kench, so you can make Eco and still keep the pair. Oh, okay, yeah. So okay. now you need to sell one Kench. And if you're losing, you will sell another one. If you're winning, you can keep it. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Because you get one gold for yes. winning straight away, right? Yes. Yeah. 
and we're waiting if we're getting a tier from PvE. If we're getting a tier from PvE with this early um, with this early Vigar, we could play Vigar carry. And we already got like an army two star as a mage to go along, so that should also be fine. Okay, now we got our first chosen offered, and it's a pretty strong one, so I would definitely pick that one up. Okay, cool. Pick that one up and replace the Lysandra and um, replace the Vi as well with the Vigar. So we have any mages in. And now I would put, yes, put the TF one to the left and now switch it up with Nami. The TF and Nami switch it. Okay, cool. And you can put the tier onto Vigar. Now we can check if we're able to eco. And now we are having exactly six gold on the bench. So you can sell the Lysandra and the Vi. And if you're losing, you can sell the Khan Kench so as well. Okay, if not, cool. you can keep it. Should be okay, I think. Yeah, the Vyga got the um, gunplate though, so it's going to be hard since he's healing a lot. Yeah, he's gonna double ult here as well, isn't he? Yeah. Okay. Okay, nice. So you got Nunu here. That's pretty big. I would take the Nunu along. Buy the Nunu. Replace the Diana with the Nunu. Here we go. So now we're having Elderwood Mage's Prowler. And our level 6 could be adding in Cultist. And then we're having okay. a really strong early game. And should I sell the Diana for the Sunfire Cape? Yes, you, should sell, you can sell the Diana already. Okay. But we, we don't know yet where to put the Sunfire Cape. It's either Nunu or Maokai. Usually Nunu is better. Actually, no, put it on Nunu. Put it on Nunu. Will I not prioritize Maokai because he's level 2? No, no, no. Oh. Um, Nunu benefits from the health more than Maokai. Okay. Because the more health he has, the more... Yeah, start it, sell her. So you're at 30. Start the Katarina, fast. Oh. So you're at 30. Do I want to buy anyone else in the shop? Probably not, right? Uh, you can take um, the Maokai and uh, the Yasuo along. Like, you can always buy it. As long as you don't lose Ego, you can buy it. Okay. So so what we don't we don't need is the um, attack speed, right, at the current stage. So we can put the attack speed onto the TF, because TF is getting sold anyways. Oh, for in favor of another fated further down the line, right? Yeah, yeah. we're going to play Elderwood uh, Mages. So TF is getting sold. We will just actually we, what we need another cultist for our level six. Yeah. So we're not losing too much health. And if I get a chance to like three star three star marker or something, should I go for it or? Uh, if you get the chance, you can go for it. If not, you yeah, it doesn't really matter. Like it's not strong. No, 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 don't buy that. You can drop this. You can drop the Yasuo. Oh, for forty. Okay. For forty, and if we're winning, you are going to sell the Maokai and pick I'm up the Hecarim. And if not, we're okay. just keeping the Maokai. Okay. Also, like, seeing this guy go sharpshooter, should I space out my units a bit more then, or...? Uh, no, they... no, we're not caring about positioning now. It's, it's too, like, it's too much to talk at the start of, for okay. the positioning here. So I've got another cultist that I can get for the cultist 6, but then I'd be breaking eco. Would that be worth it or not? Because then I can also buy the... So, so you level. should get... Go, go with the, buy the cultist. Level to level 6 and place it inside in front of the Vigar. In front of the Vigar, like this. Okay, that's fine. Then you can go buy the Lulu. And we need the Lulu later on. 
So we can't yeah. make eco here, so you can go and buy the shop as well. Well, buy everyone. Yes, you. And then you can put everything you just bought, you can put it to the right on the board, because we're not needing it. It's just giving us, we need the Lulu so it can, so it stays on the left side. Usually in lower elos, people don't rush level 6 at this point, so you can save more um, HP here. Okay. Could you have made eco by putting in Lulu over Nami and selling Nami? Hacker? Yeah, we could have, but we don't want to sell it yet, because we don't have a mage chosen, and we need the mage for three mages at the current stage. Uh, and we so don't have an elder with chosen, so six elders is also not an option here. So, show me what you have open. Okay, you want to be F, if possible. Yeah, it's everything looks Okay, good. show me again. Okay. Go back. I would go with the um, with the belt here. Ready, five. Lulu is mages, yes, but we can't sell Nami. We need Nami later in our comp. It's our third mage. We don't have a chosen mage, so we need her. We can't sell her. Okay, so we need to check if we can make Eco here. Um, we two, can't. Two. Currently, we can't do Eco because we don't get the. Um, because we want don't want to sell the elder what's on the left side. So now you can check if there's something we might want to switch up. So we can switch up the Teemo for the Aphelio, so we're holding the pair. Like you can oh, sell so the Teemo, like, switch it up. Teemo. Yeah, sell the Teemo and get the Aphelio, so we're holding a pair. Yeah. And now you could also sell um, the Wukong as well. And if we're winning, we can take along the buy. I would consider placing a belt onto the Nunu fast. Place the belt onto the Nunu fast. Okay, never mind. You can buy the buy. Okay. Okay, nice. Two more Vigars. We are high rolling. Okay, so you can sell the, both Aphelios. And you have Manta as well. No, you don't. If you're. You will if only I'm, sell. I'm sell you no, know, yeah. You will only sell if you're losing. Okay, cool, yeah. Um, so is there any, like. Is any good? So uh, to... We will do. We will create with the items. So we will place a sapphire in case we're not getting anything else. But okay. we would with the cloak. We would like to build a quicksilver, and with the belt, uh, with the rod on the bench, we would prefer to build a gun plate. And okay. with the tier, of course, we want to get a blue buff going. Uh, almost one shot at the other right guy here, because he's still one stars. Oh, we got this, that's nice. Okay, another Nunu, also really good. So here you should sell the um, sell the, the cultist out of the port. Both of them? Yes, both. They're gone. So now you can add um, the Kindred. And the Lulu. Oh, oops. Okay, the Lulu we needed for the mages, right? Yeah. Yeah, then you can level twice and buy the Y. Level twice and buy the Y. Should I just do that now? Okay. Yes. We're not losing Eco, so it's fine to do it. Then you can sell both that you just got. And then you can level up to seven. You can place in the Lulu now. And okay, yeah. now you could. I would place in another um, another Nunu. Do the Nunu to the right side of the kindred. Yes, and then put your Marokai one to the left, and then the other Nunu above the, the Lulu, one down. Yes, like this. Okay, so this is fine. Now go ahead and drop a Varmox onto the Nunu. And also build a D claw onto the Nunu. 
which one? Dragon Claw. Both magic okay. resistance onto the yeah. Nunu. Nunu will be our off carry as a tank. So you can replace um, the Maokai to the right side here. So, we're, so order your board. Hecarim is going to the oh. left because we're needing him. Yeah. And we need both of the um, Vigars because Vigar Freestyle is our win condition. And both of the Vice we don't need, usually. Unless we're getting her two stars, then we can add her in as well. Oh, nice. We got a free Nunu. So you can pay, take the Lulu as well. And now you can re you now you can place the um, the Vi inside. And now we are starting with our roll down to find for a chosen. So you can buy both Aurelias. And then we go with refresh. Okay, you can buy another Nunu. And then there's nothing to refresh. And now the way we are rolling is we're keeping our bench full and just replacing what's good on our what's bad on our bench with something better that we're getting in our rolls. Okay. But um, we will not roll. Uh, uh, below 50 gold because we are good at eco here at the current stage so we can slow roll it looks like our off carry just did 8k damage huh <laughs> Okay, so we got the Y2 stars, that's huge. Now you can buy the um, Deluxe, for example, or the Driven, just to keep your bench full. Okay. Okay, now you can roll again. Uh, you should use D to roll and not your, your mouse. So D now, to roll, yeah. Yes, and now you can okay. buy the, uh, the Warwick and replace the Riven with the Warwick. Okay, we're not taking the dead Genites. We are still healthy enough to create for a better Chosen here. I've also gone through games where like I keep waiting for a better chosen and then I just don't get one. So like, how do I prevent that? Well, at what point do you say stop rolling for a chosen and just go with what you get? Uh, yeah, yeah. If we're getting like anything that could stabilize here or that we need actually to stabilize because we are fairly strong at the current stage, then we would go for it. But we are pretty strong, so we don't have to take a bad chosen. Okay. And destroy our chance because in this stage we're getting three natural runs, so. No reason to take it. Uh, welcome to the stream, Fitz the homie. Uh, I don't plan on doing another live coaching session today, but you can go to Discord and sign up in the coaching channel. And then, yeah, we can just make an appointment for the next one. So show us again what we need. So we best thing would be a BF for a gunplate, yeah. if possible. So you should already aim, okay. Yeah, take the listen. Take the listen. Should yeah. I still go for the armor? Yeah, you need the armor. Okay, when there's a um, a carousel, as soon as the carousel starts, place yourself in the little um, circle you have, into direction into the direction that you want. Okay. So I would buy the Irelia here. Just so the jack store, yeah. Yes. And then you can replace Vi with Irelia. Yeah, and then you can um, can keep rolling. You can buy the Kindred. And you can keep rolling. Oh, you can buy the um, the Yone. You should uh, sell for that. Um, Maokai. Yeah, you can sell Maokai. And I, Chosen I really are is pretty good as well. So I would consider selling the Nunu and buying the Irelia here. Selling Nunu, buying Irelia, and then I would... No, 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 you can keep all the rest. Okay. We will lose one gold, but it's worth it. Okay. Okay, so we can go with the chosen one. Then I would place in the Yone. Yone over uh, uh, Nami. And then I would go with the Warwick over Lulu. Okay, now you need to fix your positioning. You want to get the Exile going onto the Yone. Yeah. 
Okay, I would put Yoni one to the back. Yes, oh. so he's not getting he's getting focused, but not the immediate focus by everything. Now yeah, sort your so board. Sort your board so the pairs are next to each other. Okay, this time we will probably lose versus him, because he got the Diana four stars and we didn't power spike yet. So we will wait with our comp and depending on what we're getting from the next PvE round, we will need to decide what we're committing to. Because we didn't manage to get a blue buff on the gunplate, so if you're not getting anything close to this, it will be really hard to play Vyga carry. That's why we also switched out. Okay, you can upgrade this. And I would roll now. Oh wait, then it stops up. No, that's my bad. Don't roll, don't roll. We want to see the items first. Okay, buy the ash. We're going to buy the ash. Um, we're going to level up to eight. Bring in the ash. Switch up the ash and the uh, and the um, Vigar from the, with the positioning. And now you can build um, Gin Ginsu's on the ash and Quicksilver on the ash and and a frozen heart onto the Vigar. <laughs> Yeah, build Quicksilver on Ash. Now you can sell the two Vigars on the bench. We're not going Vigar free anymore. And now we need to set up our positioning here correctly. So, also, oh, I forgot to tell you. You should have sold the Chosen in the PvE stage. That was my bad. So you need to sell the Chosen now and replace it with the Aurelia you already have. Okay. Because now we have the Shen, we are level 8 now and we are having the chance to hit 4 cost Chosens. Okay, you can buy the cane. And then we can keep rolling. You can you will buy any Legendary that we are seeing. So even the yes. Lydia? Yes, yeah. any Legendary. And how, how long do I keep rolling for? Uh, until I tell you to stop. Or are you running out of time? Probably. Okay, by the Warwick. Continue. Okay, so now we need to we need to make sure that we're getting economy going, right? Yeah. So you you can sell the Lilia. You can sell the Nami. You can sell the Nami. You can sell the Hecarim. You can sell the Lulu. And the Vi. Now you can sort your board again, put all of them to the left. And here I am sorting with um, at cost. So five cost, then four cost, then three cost. So I have a better overview. And now you should keep rolling and buy Shen. He's, he could get us free adapt and buy the Zillion as well for Mystic. Yeah. Okay. Just keep rolling. Okay. Okay, cool. Another Shen, and also by the Lux. Oh, oh we got, okay. Take this Should Ash, the, uh, replace it with the other Ash. Should I sell this one? Yes, sell it and put the items on the other Ash. Okay, cool. Now, put, exchange, okay, that was my bad, that wasn't fast enough. You should have exchanged the Vigar and the Cane here. Okay. And do I want to sell the Vigar as well? Yes, you, wanna... yes, no, no, we're, we're dropping the Vigar, we're not playing it anymore. Okay, cool. Like this we could have made Eco, but it's fairly fast when you're coaching, like to say all of it, because, yeah, like, yeah. you can't talk as fast as someone can get uh, the movements done. Okay, so now we need a Yone item or a Kane item. 
And what do either of them build? Is that like Bloodthirster or Hand of Justice maybe? Yeah, Hand of Justice is a good item that is working on both of them. So if you could get this, this Hand of Justice item, that would be nice. Yeah. If not, I would go with the Ionic Spark onto, your na uh, onto Kane. Okay, that was a nice shop here. You can buy the ash as well. And put the ash all the way to the right. No, 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 not that ash. I mean the ash on the on the board, on the bench. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, so now you can put the um, frozen heart I would put onto Yone. And the Ionic Spark I would put onto Kane here. Now we kind of run out of time again. Because usually, like, you would have exchanged and rolled, like, 20 gold here as well. With 20 gold? Like, yeah, you would like, have rolled down to, like, 20 gold. Okay. But I just can't talk that fast. <laughs> okay. Nuno is taking care of this, <laughs> Diana, for us. One second, I have to ban some spammers in the chat first. Okay, here we go. So, now you should roll. Roll a bit more. Should roll to 30 gold, I think. Okay, stop here. It takes me a while to like see what's in there, because I've missed so many like people I wanted to buy before. So now I do it like, slowly, because I don't want to miss anyone. Yeah, like I, I'm not really sure yet. Um, like we're looking for Shen Two to replace with the Brawler as well. Yeah. Uh, because we want to get the free adapt online as fast as possible and the Mystic with the Zillion. And we are looking for the Legendaries Two Star as well, because Yona Two Star and Kane Two Star makes a difference. Okay. So we're having a Morellos. Would you put the Morellos rather on the Yone or on the Kane? Uh, it depends on who's... Probably the Yone. Yeah, the Yone is getting the, uh, his ultimate onto more units. So it's better yeah. to get him, give him the, the Morellos. Also, he's getting the Exile Shield based on his HP. And Morellos is built out of a belt. So oh, okay. it's better to put it on him to have more value. Should I not just hold on to it as well, maybe for a bit and see if I can two-star either the Kane or the... No, I would put it on the Yone no matter what, who's two-star. Okay. So I can put it on the Yone, pick up the Kane items and go with Red Kane. Red as long, Kane, yeah. yeah. as long as you don't have any healing item on the Kane, I think it's always Red Kane. Okay. Now I would recommend um, switching out the, um, the Maokai, yes, for the Shen. And no, 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 don't sell the Maokai. Put it, just put it on the right side to the Ash. Then you can buy the Ezreal and sell the, uh, sell the Lee Sin. Lee Sin, yeah? Yes. Cool. Is that because he's Elder Wood that you want, you want me to buy him? Or? Yeah, we, we could run him as third Elder Wood. But we will need to scout a bit now what's going to be our best board. Because at the moment, like, we didn't have any time to scout for anything yet. Yeah. Like, the newer you are to the game, the more time you need for, like, basic stuff that you later can get finished in, like, five seconds. And then you have, like, ten seconds left to scout. So, I would recommend rolling it down, trying to get the two-star legendary here. Because we won't have enough gold to go, um, to go level nine. You can buy the ashes as well, because we're going for three-star ashy. Oh, wait, I didn't see that yet. Sorry. Yeah. Take all legendaries, all legendaries. You're buying them out, so the pool of the legendaries is smaller and you have a higher chance of getting them. And should I keep rolling or stay at 30? Okay. Now here I would sell Lilia and Ashy, so you're getting to 40 gold. So Lilia and who, sorry? 
Uh, or at the Maokai, my bad. No. At the Maokai. Yeah. Okay, you can sell Zillion. And I'll keep rolling. Should I keep rolling down? Yes, keep yeah. rolling, keep rolling. You're at one life. You need to roll. Get the strongest part possible. Okay, I would... Oh, we're not running out of time. Okay. Yeah. So we, we didn't have any time to position here correctly because we were still rolling. And yeah. I really recommend you rolling with the key. Because okay. like if you're rolling with your mouse, you need time to like, go from the roll button to the buy and like you will just travel really far with your mouse, right? Yeah. Otherwise you can already put your mouse over the spots where you want to buy something at and then you can roll with the keys. Okay, yeah. I seem to get used to it, I think. It's like also yeah. habit. Like basically in any game, doesn't matter which online game, if there's shortcuts, you should use them. Okay. 